using the wrong key, you can color code them with nail polish. You can use tape to put around it to make sure that you get clean lines. Tired of always picking up your wires? You can organize them with a binder clip. Having trouble finding the right t-shirt? If you fold them a different way, you can find them easily. You just take it like this, fold it like that, like that, and then you fold it in half. Then you can see it right at the top. When you fold them this way, you can find exactly what t-shirt you're looking for. To save space in your closet, you can use a soda tab to hang two things in the space of one. If you want your boots to look like this instead of that, you can put bottles in the legs. Do you have this problem? You can use uh, rubber bands or old silly bands to make a grid. Keep that from happening. To make your hard-boiled eggs easier to peel, you can add a teaspoon of baking soda to the water. Now the eggs are boiled, we can see how easy they are to peel. If you have packages like this that are difficult to open, you can use a can opener and run it along the side to open it up. And those are your life hacks. The sky's the limit for our school, and we have a lot of things to look forward to that are going to be positive. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to have North time uh, for 2018. I think some of the big things are, first of all, making sure that uh, we're being respectful of one another during North time, being respectful of our building, right? This is everyone's school. This is our school, so we need to make sure that we're taking care of it. I think some, some big things that we're looking at are the redesign of our locker area. There's been discussions of removing lockers and making that a, spa a collaborative space uh, so that students can really interact with one another. You know, we need to continually think about how we can help others. Uh, and making sure that uh, whether that's uh, within our community, within our school, find ways to get involved in a positive way in your building, in your school, and really take ownership over that. Being respectful and, and being understanding of our differences, uh, I think, is always something that we will, con we will keep in the, uh, in the forefront of all things that we do. Guess what, you stupid jerks? You missed an opportunity. Every single one of you had a chance to invest in Bitcoin, but only the wisest and most handsome of you did. Why do I have this opportunity and you still buy the Walmart brand of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? What is this Bitcoin, you ask? Bitcoin is internet money. While you all vaped in my bathroom, I invested in the coin. While you were getting a real job, I was gathering resources. And now you have the audacity to come to me for financial advice? Fine. Fine, I'll tell you how I became so handsome and rich. First, put on your Bitcoin band. This one aligns my chakras too. It acts as a Bitcoin wallet. Scan your wallet at the ATM to unlock your Bit points. Distract people with your Bit wallet while you shoplift. And that's how you do it, folks. Take it from me, author of How to Invest, How to Start a Cult for Fun and Profit. Hi, my name 
my name is Kristen and I'm a senior at Blue Valley North High School. I think second semester is uh, just as stressful as first semester, but in kind of a different way. So in first semester, it's just like you have a lot of stuff to do. You have a lot of applications to write and you're like still trying to get your grades up and you're still like in the middle of all these extracurriculars. And I feel like in second semester, you're still trying to get your grades up and like do your extracurriculars or whatever, but you don't have any more applications to do. For me, second semester, because it, like to be honest, it doesn't matter as much grade wise. So then it's just like, I'm just trying my best to learn or whatever. Like I'm just gonna try my best instead of really focusing on some numbers that like are supposed to kind of paint a picture of who I am to some college admission officers, if you get what I mean. I do already know where I'm going to college. I'm going to K-State next, uh, for the next four years. So yeah, this semester is definitely important to me, even though I have about like five classes throughout my day that are filler to a lot of people. I get to still see my friends and spend time with them before we all graduate. So that's, it's really important for me in that sense. The senioritis for me definitely kicked in. It kicked in, I mean, it kicked in maybe September once I realized that I couldn't do everything I was wanting to do senior year, like continue every little thing that I've been doing all four years. And I realized, wow, I've already applied to some of these colleges. I put down that, you know, I've been in drag for three years and cross country and all these other things, but I have this record of doing stuff in the past. So I can like now let myself get a well-deserved break. I think that when you start being productive, it's a lot easier to continue being productive. So my biggest tip is like figuring out something that requires like a good amount of brain power, but maybe not like academic. Like for example, I'll like clean my room or I'll like practice violin, something productive and you might like have like a little bit of brain power behind it. So like for example, when I clean my room, I think about like my next schedule. Like I think about, oh, this is these are the things I'm going to do next. And then after I finish that, I feel productive. I just clean my room. Everything is nice. It's going to be a great time. I go to my desk, which is in my room. So I get to like bathe in my successes and my achievements of cleaning my room. And then I just kind of like do my homework, whatever. After you finish like the mentally stimulating thing, like make sure you have a goal that you're working towards. So like for me, like if violin, if it's like I'm playing violin or something and I get like a certain passage like just how I want it to then it's like okay for me to stop because I feel like I've been productive and like my brain is like going now so then after that it's very easy to like do homework or like study for a test or something like that. I work on weekends and so I'm working all weekend and then I'm going to school all week so it's really like sometimes it's hard for me to balance my school after school activities and my uh, work but I have to find a way just to find like little moments that I have to myself. Just like little opportunities, like I have pets at home, so sometimes I just take like 30 minutes when I get home and I play with my cats. Or sometimes what I do is while I'm doing my homework, I'll put on a face mask or I'll like go and I'll take a bath or shower beforehand. It's just so I have like my mind refreshed and ready to go so that as soon as I'm off the stress of work, I come home, I kind of get in my comfortable mode and then I dive into the work because at least I get it like those small moments, I get those small breaks that I can just kind of enjoy it. You need to be able to choose what you can do and what you can't do. Like have a free hour, at least one, to be doing something that you really enjoy. Something that'll allow you to take a little break during school so you know you can do better in your other classes. So like it ends up benefiting you. I don't know, it can work for different people. Sometimes people need to be pushed, I guess, but you know, Sometimes pushing just goes too far and you need to be able to like push yourself just just the right amount for you to be able to like go forward but not like fall flat on your face.